I'm Paul Bennett at Downing Stunda Creations here in Millbridge, Maine. We're located along Maine's Bowl Coast, not very far from the U.S. Canadian border. It's been requested that I install a paper towel holder uh, in one of the bathrooms here at uh, the headquarters of Women for Healthy Rural Living, the VHRL. And I'll put a link in the uh, description below. And uh, this particular Paper towel, paper towel holder uh, just has one mount rather than two sides. Makes it easy to put the paper towel roll on and off. And uh, there's no room to go this way to get the paper towels on. They really don't want it this way. It was decided they'll put it vertical so the paper towel roll can just be on there like that. So what I'm going to do is, and this is a little sticky note that uh, the women put on the wall for me to tell me where they wanted the location of this particular holder. I have a tool here, it's, it's called an awl, A-W-L, and all this tool is, it's like a little spike, has a very sharp tip on the end, sort of like an ice pick, and what I'm going to do is, I'm only going to locate one hole right now. And so I'm putting this over where they want it. And right about in the middle, I'm going to push a little hole into the drywall. Okay, now I can take this, I can take this right off. I don't need it anymore. And the reason I only put one hole rather than two, one on each side, is because I want this paper towel holder to be plumb. So once I get the first hole in, and I get one screw in where I can hold it so it's just going to stay, I'm going to take this level and I'm going to put it against the, towel, the uh, paper towel holder and I'm going to make sure that it's plumb up and down so it's not cocked to one side or the other. Once I do that, I can take the awl and place a hole for the other side. What I have here is a little plastic wall anchor. And these little plastic wall anchors, uh, these came with the paper towel holder. And this is for going into drywall. There's no stud behind here. So this has to be held firmly in the drywall itself. But drywall is not very strong. So the screws are not gonna hold directly into the drywall. But when a screw goes in, to this wall anchor, the wall anchor has a split in it and it expands and it gets very, very tight inside the drywall. And that's what's going to help to hold it in place. I've selected a drill bit that's slightly smaller than the wall anchor. And this is necessary because this wall anchor has to be driven in with a hammer to get a good tight fit before I put it in the screw. So, where I made a little hole with the awl, that's going to guide my drill bit. And I'm just going to drill into the drywall. That's all there is to that. The next step is to tank, take this little uh, wall anchor, and you want to gently tap it into the drywall. But you have to be careful not to crack the drywall or damage the drywall. So it's just light taps until you get it. And then you give a light enough tap where the end of this drywall anchor becomes just about flush with the drywall. And now it's set in there properly. This is one of the screws that came with that came with the uh, the towel holder. And as I mentioned, I'm just putting in this one screw. And I'm going to start it with just a, a regular hand screwdriver. And you'll notice that I'm driving this screw in by hand. I'm not using the power driver. And the reason for that is uh, these wall anchors and drywall, it's all very fragile. And you can apply so much torque, you could rip that wall anchor right out very easily 
you don't have to tighten these down too hard and I'm not going to tighten down too hard here because just enough to hold it in place but I can still move it. Now I can put my level against here and I'm waiting for this little bubble to be right in the middle. That tells me that I'm plumb. Right about there. You have to play with a little bit until you're happy with it. And now that it's plumb, I know where I can put this all. I can get it as close to the middle as I can. I'm sorry, I'm blocking the shot here. I'm just going to push that. Now, I don't know if this will work. I could probably get this out of the way without taking it off. Yes, I can. I can go ahead and drill my hole. Okay. And then, I'll get my other wall anchor. Tap it in just like I did the other one. Now I'm going to bring this around. Sticking out a little bit and loosen up this screw. Okay, no problem there. Get my other screwdriver. And now I can start the screw on the other side. And again, I'm only uh, doing this by hand. I'm not using a power driver. And before I tighten it, I'm just going to snug this a little bit. But I want them to check, and again, just double check. I want to snug this up a little bit too. And that's about where I want it. You have a little bit of leeway, you can make fine adjustments. And you'll feel it snug up, but you don't want to over tighten it. You don't need to take a Gorilla Grip and really crank it. You'll feel where it's running it's right. Okay, just a fine tune adjustment right there. I can move it a little bit. And then I do the final tightening to where I'm happy. Okay. That's good and tight. It's on there rugged, in a rugged fashion. There's the paper towel. Good to go. Down East Linda Creations has surpassed the 3600 subscriber Milestone. Well, the ducks look all excited. And as promised, it's time for another giveaway. Every time we add another 100 subscribers, there'll be a giveaway. There was one at 3,500. Now there's going to be one at 3,600. There'll be another one at 3,700. Pretty simple to enter. No purchase necessary. All you have to do is, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, rather than a website, uh, a different website, scroll down below the video to the video description. Just below that, you'll see the comment section. And in the comment section, indicate that you would like to be included in the giveaway. If only two or three people decide to do that 
your odds of winning are pretty darn good. If a lot of people enter, the odds may not be quite as good. We'll see how many people are interested. At any rate, uh, I will hold the drawing based on the number of people that are entered. That'll determine how many uh, items are given away. If there's only a handful, I'll just have one item. If there's quite a few, there may be two or three items. I draw the line at about three items, though. And uh, so that's all you have to do. Now, you'll have to check next week, the following week's video, to see who the winner is. I'll announce the winner. You'll have 30 days to get in touch with me. Send me an email or some other method where you don't broadcast your address to the public. Send me your U.S. Postal uh, mailing address. And then whatever the item is, and if you're the winner, I'll get it right out to you. But you only have 30 days. After that, if I don't hear from you, you forfeit. And that's it. That's all there is to it. But remember, you have to indicate you want to participate in the comment section that's below this YouTube video in the YouTube uh, format. If you indicate that you want to enter on some other website other than YouTube, one of the ones where I post things, that doesn't count. It has to be on the YouTube uh, uh, page uh, where this video is actually posted. That's all. Nothing more. Thanks for participating. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?